Hi and welcome to the VMS Map Converter video tutorial. What you will need to do first of all is to download the VMS Map Conversion software. To do this you will go to your internet browser, whatever it might be, uh, be it Internet Explorer, go to the vms4x4.com, all products and then digital maps and download, scroll down to the bottom and you'll see our VMS Map Converter. If you click on that and then click add to cart as if you're going to buy it, it's alright there is no cost as you can see it's a zero dollar item, then click checkout and it will take you to the next screen offering you more of our deals. You can then continue as guest if you don't want to sign in as a uh, full member there to purchase uh, uh, items and products in the future. You then fill in your contact details, email address, first and last name and when you've done that click continue to next step. It will then send you an email to the email address that you said and you then would sign into your email, however you do that as a personal preference. And then it will give you a link to download the VMS map converter. You click on this link and fire up this zip file, then extract the two files there. If you're using Windows uh, unzip tools, it will say extract all files at the top of the window there. Then double click on setup. You will have to agree to the license to use it, uh, thoroughly read the license beforehand. Press next, then press next again, and it will start to install the map converter software. Then click close to exit. Now, the actual maps themselves. We have some maps on a DVD, and what you'll need is ECW or TIFF, T I F F format maps. As you can see on here, they're arranged in a rather irritating fashion in different folders. We just want the raw ECW files, so what we can type in the search bar is star, that's shift 8, dot ECW, and that will list all the ECW files in this particular folder. As you can see, there's the list of them all there without not being uh, segregated into the different folders. If you then press Control A, you can highlight them all and then click and drag them into a separate folder. I've called this all ECW files. And as you can see, there they're all, all there, copied onto my computer. Great! Then fire up the VMS Map Converter software. If I just type in VMS Map Converter, there it is. Great, fantastic. Takes you to this screen. Press Close. Then select your source folder, so where we put all the ECW files beforehand. Then you'll need to select a destination folder, so where the converted maps will end up going. I've just made a folder called VMS, uh, Converted VMS Maps. Now you will select the maps you want to convert and click them across using this. You can select all and then press that the, the middle uh, button there to uh, convert them all. I'm not going to because it will take too long for the purposes of this video. Click edit, tell, uh, enter who it's published by and the copyright owners of this, and then click convert. Great, we're done. Two out of two successful, and zero out of two not successful. Fantastic. If we close that, then we can close the map converter, and if we go into our destination file, we can see the uh, the two file the two maps we've converted there. there. There will be two files for each map: an MMI and a VRT. Now, we plug our GPS in, and we will go into the VMS directory, and there is a maps folder in there. What we want to do is click and drag our maps into that folder copy them across to the SD card, fantastic, there they are. What we'll then need to do is unplug our unit from the computer and fire up VMS Off-Road. If you have VMS Off-Road 3 or later, then you'll need to go to Map List and then Update Map Database and then press the big button at the top. This can take a while to do, bear in mind it can take anything from half an hour up to five hours. So it's probably worth plugging it in on charge and leaving it overnight. This concludes our VMS map conversion video. If you have any questions, please contact us at VMS and we'll be able to help you out. Thanks.